Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think this stuff is kind of serious. After you watch the video, let me know in the comments if you think we're getting closer to scenarios in the style of the movie Her or anything similar to that. So this article from the MIT News states, LLMs develop their own understanding of reality as their language abilities improve. And I think this is pretty crazy stuff. Wondering how they discovered this, well, in a series of controlled experiments, some researchers from MIT CSAIL have uncovered simulations of reality emerging deep within these models, and basically this suggests that their grasp of language goes far beyond mere imitation. Now folks, if you were to ask a large language model, an LLM, like ChatGPT 4.0 to smell a rain-soaked campsite, it would probably give you a polite no. But if you ask the same model to describe that scent, it'll go all out talking about an air thick with anticipation and a scent that's both fresh and earthy, yada yada yada, even though it's never experienced rain and doesn't have a nose to smell it. So what's going on here? Basically, one possible explanation is that the LLM is just mimicking the text from its massive training data and not really understanding what rain or smell is. But here's the kicker, folks. Does the lack of eyes mean these language models can never understand that a lion is larger than a house cat? You know, for a long time, philosophers and scientists have seen the ability to assign meaning to language as a key marker of human intelligence. And they've been trying to figure out what exactly gives us this unique capability. But anyway, folks, back to the enigma. I'll read part of the article to you, and afterwards I will explain it as understandably as possible. Now, researchers from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, CSAIL, have uncovered some pretty fascinating results because it turns out that language models might actually develop their own understanding of reality as a way to boost their generative abilities. So here's how they figured it out. And I think it's pretty cool. The team created a set of small carol puzzles, which were all about coming up with instructions to control a robot in a simulated environment. And they trained an LLM on the solutions. But here's the twist, because they didn't show the model how those solutions actually worked. Finally, they used a machine learning technique called probing to peek inside the model's thought process as it came up with new solutions. Then, after putting the model through over a million random puzzles, they discovered something surprising. The model spontaneously developed its own understanding of the underlying simulation, even though it was never directly exposed to this reality during training. So I guess these findings really challenge our assumptions about the kind of information that is needed to learn the meaning of language. And I figure they raise the possibility that LLMs could one day understand language on a much deeper level than they do now. Now, get this, folks, because it's pretty fascinating, because in the article we can read, at the start of these experiments, the language model generated random instructions that didn't work. By the time we completed training, our language model generated correct instructions at a rate of 92.4%, says MIT Electrical Engineering and Computer Science EECS PhD student and CSAIL affiliate Charles Jin, who is the lead author of a new paper on this particular work. Jin and Renard's paper was partly supported by grants from the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA, when they say, this was a very exciting moment for us because we thought that if your language model could complete a task with that level of accuracy, we might expect to understand the meanings within the language as well. This gave us a starting point to explore whether LLMs do in fact understand text. And now we see that they're capable of much more than just blindly stitching words together. I mean, folks, I think one day LLMs will not just be good word mixers, and maybe that day is getting closer and closer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go inside the mind of an LLM. So here it says that the probe allowed Jin to observe this progress up close, and that its job was to interpret what the LLM believed the instructions meant, and revealing that the model had developed its own internal simulation of how the robot moves in response to each command. So basically, as the model got better at solving puzzles, these internal concepts became more accurate and showed that the LLM was beginning to understand the instructions. Before long, the model was consistently piecing together accurate instructions that actually worked. 
Then Jin points out that the LLM's grasp of language develops in stages, similar to how a child learns to speak, and it starts off like a baby babbling, repetitive and mostly incoherent. Then the language model picks up syntax, the rules of language, allowing it to generate instructions that might look like real solutions, but still don't quite work. But here's the cool part, because it seems that the LLM's instructions keep improving, and once the model starts to grasp meaning, it begins producing instructions that correctly match the requested tasks, much like a child forming coherent sentences. And this, my friends, is where things get really exciting. Let's break this down into simpler terms. Imagine you're teaching a robot how to move by giving it instructions, but the robot doesn't understand the instructions right away. Then there's this special program called an LLM that's trying to figure out what you mean. At first, the program isn't very good at it. It's like when a baby is just learning to talk and can probably only babble and bubble. But as the program practices more, it starts to get better and it begins to understand the instructions better as well. Just like how a child eventually learns to form real words into actual sentences. Over time, the program becomes pretty smart and it starts to figure out exactly how the robot should move based on instructions it's given. So it's like the program is learning how to speak the language of the robot and it gets so good at it that it can give instructions that actually work perfectly. So in simple terms, the LLM is like a learner that gets better and better at understanding what it needs to do to help the robot move correctly. This is pretty remarkable stuff, folks, and I would love to know what do you think about this all. Uh, let me know in the comments. It's, it's all rather fascinating. Now, let's see the other cool part of the article. It goes on stating that the probe was initially designed just to go inside the brain of an LLM, but there was a small chance it might also be doing some of the thinking for the model. Then the researchers needed to be sure that their model understood the instructions on its own, rather than the probe inferring the robot's movements based solely on the LLM's grasp of syntax. Imagine you've got a pile of data that encodes the LLM's thought process, Jin suggests. The probe acts like a forensic analyst. You hand this pile of data to the analyst and say, here's how the robot moves. Now try and find those movements in the data. The analyst later tells you they've figured out what's happening with the robot. But what if the data just encodes the raw instructions and the analyst cleverly extracts and follows those instructions? In that case, the language model hasn't really learned what the instructions mean. So basically, to untangle these roles, the researchers flip the meanings of the instructions for a new probe and... In this bizarro world, as Jin calls it, commands like up now meant down when moving the robot across its grid. Now, I don't want to bore you by reading the whole article, but I'll explain in as simple terms as possible what it all means and what it implies. So, folks, again, let's break this all down. Picture another robot that needs to move based on instructions given to it by a language model, which is like, uh, you know, a, a really smart computer program that tries to understand language. So to figure out how well this program understands the instructions, the researchers used something called a probe. This probe's job was to dive into the brain of the program and see how it was processing the instructions. Think of the probe as a scanner looking through a pile of data to understand how the robot should move. Then the researchers wanted to make sure the program itself, not just the probe, understood what the instructions meant. And to test this, they did something clever. They flipped the meanings of the instructions in a way that would confuse the robot if it didn't really understand them. For example, if the original instruction was move up, they made it so that up actually meant down. If the probe was following the flipped instructions without really understanding them, it would still be able to move the robot correctly. But if the program truly understands the instructions, it would get confused by these flipped meanings. And that's exactly what happened because the program struggled, which showed it actually had a real understanding of the instructions as they were intended before they were flipped. This is a really important experiment because it suggests that these language models might be more than just super smart guesses because they might actually be developing an understanding of the tasks they're asked to do, much like how we understand the world around us.
However, the researchers pointed out that they used a simple setup and a small model for this experiment, so there's still a lot to explore, and they're hopeful that future research could use this understanding to train even better language models. Okay, let me know in the comments what you think of all of this, and if you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.